Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about copy categories and sublocations. These are ways to sort the titles that you have in your catalog and to tell your users where to actually find those materials on the shelves. Let's look for one of the Magic Treehouse books, Blizzard of the Blue Moon. Now it tells me that it's in the location of fantasy. My library happens to be already genrefied, so I would go to the fantasy section and I'd find the Magic Treehouse subsection where there is also the title Blizzard of the Blue Moon. If I click on three of three available, I can go in and see that there are three copies of this particular book. At any point I can click edit, copy, the little pencil looking button, Scroll down to change its sublocation. Say I wanted to put Magic Treehouse as its own sublocation within the fantasy genre, like Dr. Seuss being part of the everybody section, Patricia Polacco being part of the everybody section. If I wanted to add a new sublocation right here, I would click on Other and I'd get the option to add a sublocation. Now here are all the current sublocations that are in my library's OPAC. I should choose one of these to stay consistent if what I'm looking for is already there. Now from what I've been able to piece together, there is a subtle difference between copy category and sublocation. Copy category is more of the librarian's view for what types of books are being used, how many of each type that you actually have. When I go to the catalog tab and click on library search, there is a tab to the right that says copy categories. This gives me a list of all the copy categories in my library and it shows the number of copies in each category. For example, dinosaurs. When I click on this, it pulls up 16 different titles that are in my library having to do with dinosaurs. I feel like this would be useful to print this listing of titles about dinosaurs so I would have it as a reference for a particular student or for an entire class doing a project on this topic. I can always click show more and this drop down appears, tells me the exact call number, the barcode, and the status of this particular title. I can always remove it from this listing about dinosaurs. To my knowledge though, that wouldn't change the location of dinosaurs. I would need to click on the actual title, go to copies, go to edit, and then scroll down and change its sublocation. Now it's possible to edit copies in bulk in the OPAC. You can click on batch update, select a copy field such as add a category, Choose the category that you want to add copies into, let's say football. Update all copies in a barcode list. I would click here, scan each barcode of the book that I want to add the football copy category to, then I would scroll down and click on update. Now to change the sublocations, the only way I have found to do this so far is to click on individual update. Here is where your scanner will input the barcodes or you can type in the barcodes that are copies from library materials. What you're going to do when you update though is add or change the sublocation to anything on this list. Perhaps I have a whole lot of who was biographies. I'm going to click that. Any barcodes I put in here, the computer should automatically update to have that sublocation. All of these batch and individual update options are possible on the Update Copies tab inside the catalog.